As an example of using the differential equation method, let's consider a bar that's built in at the left side and subjected to a constant body force B0. And so that's force per unit length, and the length of the bar is L as usual. And the governing equation that we're going to use is that AE U double prime plus B equals zero. So I'll use the primes to indicate differentiation, and we'll assume constant cross-sectional area in Young's modulus for this problem. Uh, the B in this equation is B0, as given. And our first boundary condition, the easy one to take, is that x equals 0. It's built in, so the displacement will be 0 at x equals 0. The other boundary condition we'll take from x equals L, where there are no applied forces. So it's a free end. And so we'll have that AE U prime at L is equal to 0. So there's no force out there. Uh, so our starting equation is AE U double prime equals minus B naught. And now we have to solve this differential equation. And these types of differential equations are easier than the ones that you typically learn in, in, in your calculus course because we don't have to look at general and particular solutions and combine them in, together, or sorry, particular and homogeneous solutions and combine them together for general solutions. We can actually just take the equation and integrate both sides step by step to get to a final result. So if I integrate both sides once, oh, actually, I'll get, yeah, if I integrate both sides of the equation once, I'll get AE U prime on one side, and then on the other side, I'm going to get minus B naught X plus a constant in integration, which I'll call C1. And now if I integrate a second time, I'll have AE U on one side, and then on the other side, I'll pick up an additional constant of integration C2. C1 and C2 are the two constants of integration that we eliminate using our two boundary conditions over here. So if I apply the first boundary condition, u of 0 equals 0, that's going to tell me immediately that C2 has to equal 0. And then if I apply the boundary condition that AE u prime of L equals 0, that's going to tell me that C1 equals B0 times L. So I now know what my two constants are, and I can plug back in and say find the displacement field of the bar. And so I would have that u of x is equal to this expression here in the box. And of course, knowing u of x, I can easily calculate the strains if I want, the stresses, and the internal forces. So by finding u of x, you basically found the entire behavior of the system. And we just simply done this by integrating the differential equation. This problem happened to be statically determinate. So we can see that the method works for determinate problems. It also works in the exact same way for indeterminate problems.